Hey everyone, today we're talking AWS Secrets Manager. We'll do a short demo covering the basics, but first a little bit of theory. Let's say you're creating an application that has a database on the back end. Your code needs to access that database, but the database requires a username and password. How would you deal with that? Well, you could hard code the credentials into the code, or you could store them in a file on the file system and retrieve them when you needed them. But even if you don't really know much about how this kind of thing works, those options should hopefully cause you some pause and they might even feel a little bit icky. These are both really bad ideas. Yes, super convenient, but they are not secure and not something that you want to do. But again, your code does need the username and password. So what's a better solution? Well, luckily for us, there's a service called AWS Secrets Manager, and this is the recommended way to protect your secrets. So usernames and passwords, API keys, that kind of thing that are needed by your applications and services. Let's go take a look at this in a demo. Out on the console, I'll navigate to Secrets Manager. And while that's coming up, I did also create a database previously. This is a MySQL database, and that's what we're going to be storing the secret for, the username and password. So back here in Secrets Manager, we want to store a new secret. Just do take a note, though, of the pricing down here. This will cost you 40 US cents per secret per month. So if you follow along, let's make sure we delete this at the end. But we'll start by storing a new secret. In my example, I do have credentials for an Amazon RDS database. You'll see some of the other things here that you could use this for, though, including API keys, OAuth tokens, and other things. But I will leave the RDS database selected and then enter the username and password, which is admin and my super secure password. For encryption key, we're just going to go with the default here that we get for Secrets Manager. And then the database, the one that I created earlier, database one, and say next. We'll need to give our secret a name. Let's say we have an e-commerce team, and this is for their dev environment. So ecom mysql admin dev, or whatever name you want to put in there, defaults and everything else, and next. And then one really nice thing about Secrets Manager is that it can automatically rotate your secrets. So let's toggle this on. You can set up the rotation schedule. And then on this schedule, Secrets Manager will automatically update the credentials here in Secrets Manager and in the database or whatever service you're using this with. And it's going to do this through a Lambda function down here. So the rotation function, you can create a new rotation function, give it a name, MySQL rotation function, the rotation strategy, whether it's single users or alternating users, and then we'll say next. And then on the review page, if you scroll down, there's a super handy section here for the sample code. So some snippets that you can paste into your code base to help you retrieve this secret. So let's say that you were building a Python application, for example, here's the code you need to get the secret. You can just copy and paste this code into your code base, fill in the rest of your code here, and you should be off and running. So that's all it takes to set up a secret. When you're ready, just say store the secret. So we've stored the secret. You'll see the message there on the top that CloudFormation is setting up the rotation resources. So the Lambda function that we talked about, that can take up to two minutes to complete. Let's do a refresh here. This is stored. So if we come in here, we can see the details. I am going to delete mine though, just because this was only a demo. So we can come in here and actions, delete secret. There is a minimum waiting period of seven days before you can delete the secret. So we'll set that to seven days, schedule deletion. So in a week from now, all of that should be deleted and we should be good to go. So Secrets Manager is a great way to protect your various secrets. So you don't need to do things like hard coding them into your applications. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up on the video and also think about subscribing for more content like this. Thanks so much for watching.